Welcome back everyone to another episode of Pine Plays the Lore Master. We are back here in Akmar, ready to speak with Kronog once again. Greetings, Saffron. You have taken the stone of Klukoth. It is now only a matter of time before the greatest warrior of the Triv Galorg will face the champion of the Triv Duvardain, and much will be decided. The warriors of Vuth Luch will now speak with you concerning tasks with which they desire your aid. Help them if you will, but know that you have another obligation. Your femme is not yet complete. Now, they're talking about another group of quests that are unlocked as a result of this, which we won't be doing. Oh yes, of course, I have to choose my leggings. We have the leggings of femme here, which are... It's actually a decent improvement over there. Yes, I guess we'll take that. Would you lend me a moment of your time? All right. By taking the stone of Klukoth, you have set in motion a wave that cannot be avoided. We move to conflict with the true Diverdain, and we must prepare for the coming storm. There can be no more hiding and no more flinching from battle. We will stand or fall by the outcome of the Klukath, and for that we need the strongest warrior to represent us in the for representing Akhair. Could it be you, Southron, that you are? Is it possible, if unlikely, that your femme becomes to find out? Mighty are the warriors of Akhair. I set you now before them. Test your skills and valor against these, and we will see if your destiny leads you to the Klukath. Ferdak of the Boothlach, Fonghala of the Boothsankas, and Moridak, as strong as the Araxi Tens. Wright can tell you of them, if you desire to know what you will face. Prove your worth to us by defeating them. If you succeed, we will know the truth of your strength. All right, need to face each of these. Then I could speak with Wright here, who has the little feather up there to tell us that we could get more information. So let's bring out the cat and be ready for a little bit of a fight. Hello there. I've been asked to test your strength. I am ready for you, Southron. I have the strength of the Arox. If you are the one to face the Trev Duverdain and Kukloth, you must be strong indeed. Let us do battle and shout our challenge to the skies. All right, here we go. Only the strongest deserves the honor of destroying the Trev Duverdain. Only the strongest has the... Well, we'll see. I'm not too sure I'm really the strongest, but I am victorious. You're strong enough to face the Trev Duverdine? Perhaps. Perhaps. Now to face the next group. Or I should say the next opponent. Who is over here. Because I think all these are small fellowship quests. Would you lend me a moment out of your time? Yeah. So let's go and face him. Hello there. The Iron Crown seeks to enslave us. I know you, Pine Wolf, and I know your femme. If this is the fate for you, our battle will reveal it. Prepare to face me. Are, are you worthy to fight before the booth? <laughs> we will see. Yeah, we'll see. And he goes and faces the cat. Whack. You are worthy of doing battle before the booth. Oh, I'll never get that right. Booth. Whatever. Next. Let us go inside here. And. Oh, no, that's right. She is down this way, I think. Ah, there she is. Down that way. Up here. 
And here is our third opponent. Uh, greetings. I have been waiting for you since the moment you took the Stone of Kukaf from the Cairn of Honor. Are you to be the warrior that represents the Trev Galorg in the upcoming storm? Let our battle show us the way. All right, let us see. Let us see if you're able to compete your femme. All right, we'll find out. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Knock her out. I submit you're worthy in my eyes. All right, there you go. I have bested all three of them. I have faced all three opponents. Will you, do so journeyingly? you have defeated three of Akhaira's mightiest warriors, Pine Wolf. There is one more among us that you must equal, and you must face him last. All right, and which one is that? Oh, shoulders of them. Hmm, yeah. Well, not as good on the will side. But a little bit extra morale, a little bit extra on that. Eh, we'll see. It has been long since we have mourned him. Your femme draws near its fulfillment, Southron. There is one last warrior you must defeat. And if you prove to have the mastery, you will fight for the Trev Galorg in Kukok against the Trev Duverdine. Your opponent is named Nakton, and he is the son of the last warrior to engage in Klukoth, the very Klukoth where the Trev de Vardane listened to their Angmarin masters and violated the rules of the right. Though he sued for mercy, the mercy that Klukoth should have granted, Nakton's father was slain by Avair, warrior of the Trev de Vardane. That was the act which we knew the Trev de Verdine would not be redeemed and were lost to us, through we shared the kinship in years gone past. There is a great tree to the east of Akhaire, and Lakan goes there to train his skills in combat. Leave Akhaire, le heading north, and let's go towards the tree. So therefore, it was a vire who did that. Oh yes, and when we face a vire, we'll be facing her many times up ahead. But this is the first time. Well, assuming of course we could get past the whatever. Oh yes, I almost forgot about our ranger friend here. Oh, there, Coronier. How can I be of service? This does appear to be such a stone as the runes described, but. It is of little use. The heart is cracked. Well, maybe that's why the stone is dead, I guess. Oh, well. What do you need? It is a pity that the heart is broken, but there may yet be another path open to us. While you are away, some of the villagers returned from a hunting expedition and told of a ritual being performed at Tor Galvin, a fortress to the northeast, east of the place called Fialakral. Uh, yeah, I've been there a couple of times. Good. The ritual appears to be revealed to whatever spell is cast upon these stones to grant them such power, and the sorcerer is performing this ritual bears him the stone heart. If you can interrupt the ritual and slay Tath, you will be able to recover the stone heart from him. Go quickly, for if he is preparing yet another watching stone, you may not get another chance. All right, then. Let us go and be the sorcerer's doom. Hello, Cornier. The good news is I interrupted the ceremony and have the stone heart. Uh, the bad news is I forgot to hit record when I did it. How can I be of service? This is indeed the stone heart, but alas, the situation is more dire than I first thought. What? I need a recording to prove it? Well, we'll find out. Oh, what is this? A... Ooh, a staff. Well... Uh, no, I like the staff knowledge a little bit better. Oh, well, what about this? Will, fatality... Mm, well, whatever, I'll just take the staff and sell it. How can I be of service? Nay, take this evil thing. I can bear it no longer. 
My apologies, Fred, but the sense of this thing is too much less likened to the terror of the Ramas Duelan. I cannot bear its presence. But I know now the secret of the stones of Ramas Duelan. It is no spell that grants the statue such powers, but a fell spirit of an elder age, such as those that inhabit the whites that serve Angmar. This stone heart is prepared to receive such a spirit. Perhaps this heart may be made to draw forth such a spirit from another stone. It may be a clue to breaking the will of the watching stones. Take the stone heart to the ancient watching stone which stands near the eastern pass of the Ram Duath to the east of here, not far from Balrova, a fortress of Agmarin. All right, I guess I could try that. Let's see what that's all about. Uh, now, any better also, and speak with Kranike here, who I also hope doesn't need a video verification, so to speak. Note to self. Double check the recording before I finished it. Okay, hello Kranike! Done. You are a stranger to these lands. You have defeated Naktan and earned the right to stand before the Trev Galorg in Klukath against the Trev de Vardain. This is a chance of great honor, Southron, and a chance to show our foes that the Trev Galorg are not to be dismissed so readily. We will stand always against them. And you will be the warrior to remind them of our opposition. All right, and I get a robe of femme, which is a downgrade. Well, fun. There are many urgent matters to discuss. The time of Klukath is almost upon us, and you must prepare yourself to battle. Despite your prowess against the warriors of the Trev Galorg, it will not be enough. You need a greater ally, that of knowledge. Many among the Trev Galorg witnessed the unlawful breaking of the rites of the Klukath, in which Nectane's father was slain, and they may have some words by which to avoid a similar fate. Osbile, by my ruling seat, can tell you how Nassan met his end, and perhaps give you some manner of avoiding a similar fate. Cameron, at the center island of Akhire, would tell you which of the warriors of the Trev du Vardain you may be facing. Tazgal, hunter of the hill beasts to the southeast of Nadanathar, may have learned something during your his sojourn that will aid you. Speak with these three, and any others you may be able to help and return to me before long. The Klukath will not wait forever. Right. It won't wait forever. Hmm. Which one should I do first? I think first I better head out and take care of that watching stone. If I understood the directions properly, the, ah, I think I found it. And here it is. Just make sure I don't run into too many orcs along the way. And I need to face this thing. Let's face our fears. Forward. Hello. What? Only a normal? One normal? Good grief. I'll make it too easy. Fine. Well then. That was easy. Hello there, Tazgo. I've been asked to get your advice in preparing for the Klukath. Will you please sit your way here? I salute you, Pine Wolf. I have not yet returned to Al Khaire, for I have been keeping a watch on Nad Nathar to ensure that the hill beasts do not rise again. Rona will understand. You have chosen as the warrior of the Klukath? I am frozen with amazement. I believe the death of Nassan and the betrayal of the Trev du Verdine had ended that right forever. You defeated Nekhtan in single combat. He cannot have been pleased with that. You have video proof of that. 
Uh, okay. If Avera has chosen as the warrior of the Trev du Verdain, Nectan will see it as a lost opportunity to avenge himself upon his father's murderer. I have carved a small figure at the tooth of the Muragroth, and I would like you to have it. Carry it among your belongings. Perhaps it will bring you fortune in the trials ahead. All right, I will see to that. I have Tazgal's gift, and now let's speak with the other two inside the village. Hello there, Coronier. I have taken care of that fell spirit. What do you need? You have vanquished the spirit. How your victory heartens me, Pine Wolf. It gives me the hope that we may yet succeed. All right, and I get the Conqueror of the Watching Stones title for that, which is very important there. And I get... Well, I think my current one is probably already better. Nothing useful there, nothing useful there, and Arista, nothing useful there. Well then, we'll just have to live with what we get. What do you need? You have proven that such stones can be defeated, that their power of oppression is only as great as you allow it. Unfortunately, my spirit has been broken for far too long. I do not believe I could pass the stones and bear this fear. You, however, have nothing left to fear. Go east, Pine Wolf, and pass through the Ramis Duelon. I can only hope that somewhere beyond my kinsmen survive. The people here say that there are dwarves in the south pass of Ramis Duelon. Search there for my brethren. Go, and may the valor go with you. Now, once you do this... An army of Dunedain and Hillmen from Ohio passed into the eastern reaches of Angmar, only to be caught in the dire trap of Ramus Deluan. Though the secret of the stones has been revealed, no sign of Gorodir, the ranger who led them, has yet been found. It can only be hoped that some part of Gorodir's army has survived, and that they are able to hinder the advances of Angmar. And that unlocks Eastern Angmar, because if you go into Eastern Angmar before completing these quests, let's just say you're not going to have a happy time. Unless you enjoy finding yourself within the Stone Circle. But that's it for today's episode. When we return next time, we are going to talk with the other people in the village and complete the Rite of Klukath. When we return for the next episode... Of Pineley Plays, The Lore Master.